Contraband snuck into local jails creates a dangerous environment or can. A pair of local entrepreneurs are testing a device to find the most dangerous of them, cell phones. Night on your side, TJ Parker shows us the testing done in Cincinnati and why phones inside lockups are such a danger. Today we're going to give you a number of operating phones. Inmates inside the Hamilton County Jail getting their free call. Warning. This mobile device is not authorized to operate in this correctional facility. The phone is locked in the prison. The call is cut short, though. They're testing a device that blocks calls being made from inside the jail. We're just trying to tell the phone that you're in a restricted area. CEO of Cell Command John Fisher developed the technology. He's working with real estate developer Rob Smejunis. Together, they hope to build a multi-billion dollar company around the idea. It's one part software, one part hardware. Ten inmates inside the jail tested the device. Where you see that little blue dot, it's powering on. They were all handed cell phones and told to make calls. Yeah, I'm calling from Honduras. John then placed the beacon device at spots around the jail and the phone shut off within seconds. As we had hoped, it proved out very beneficial to us. We knocked down every single phone we tried to knock down and within a very short time period. John says inmates' use of contraband cell phones is a serious threat to safety. Many different things have happened as far as additional crime being conducted behind bars. It facilitates the crime. It helps them orchestrate new crime. They continue, even after they've been incarcerated, to run their criminal operation. Yeah. With safety in mind, John and Rob hopes their idea takes off. When cell phones are in your hand or my hand, they're a wonderful tool. But when they get into the hands of a convicted felon, they become very dangerous. John plans to test the device inside prisons over the next couple of months. He's also making progress with the FCC to install the software on cell phones to make this all work. Reporting at the Hamilton County Justice Center, I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.